Shalom, shalom. The question that loomed heavy in the air way before Simchat Torah, it was how are we supposed to celebrate Simchat Torah, specifically this year or ever again? The day has been marred by the savage brutality and extreme loss of life that's still very much an open wound for our people. We can't go back to what it was. Things will never be the same. But we have to begin again. And Bereshit is a perfect example of this. It's been taught to us from our sages that God created and destroyed many worlds before he created this one. And the question that baffles the mind is why would God, the all-knowing, who could just create a perfect world once, why would he create and destroy all these beautiful works of art, all these worlds, and destroy them? So I think that the answer lies in the very first word, in the very first letter of our Torah. It starts with the word Bereshit. And the word Bereshit starts with a bet. Now the bet is totally closed off to anything that comes before. And I think what God is trying to tell us is do not try and understand the things that happened before. All this, the, the things that God created and destroyed and why he did that. These are things we will never understand. These are things that we cannot understand. And so we're not meant to learn it and delve into it. We have to start with what we have, with what we know, and how to build and move and go on from there. And that's why it starts with the letter bet to tell us this. And the word Bereshit means in the beginning because this is a world of new beginnings. And just like God then created and destroyed worlds before this every this year we've gone through this so many worlds that were created that were so young so vibrant were destroyed before they can blossom and become to its fruition and we don't understand why we don't and God is saying don't get bogged down and trying to understand why that had to happen because we'll never understand it's not something we'll ever understand we have to pick up the pieces and build build and move on from there and this is the the lesson that god has given us um in even just the first word in brashi and what i think god is telling us is that yes it's 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 so sad and it's so devastating the loss of so much potential and beauty but at the same time we cannot negate the gifts that God has given us because God has given us also so much even despite the pain and suffering that we have for the loss of something beautiful we still have other things that we need to nurture and to love and appreciate and build with those things. And so that's the strength I gave myself this Simchat Torah because despite all the pain and the heaviness and the loss, there's still tremendous gifts. And the one gift that I will always, always rejoice in that can never be destroyed is the gift of the Torah that God gave us with all the wisdom and all the beauty and all the potential that is everlasting and eternal so that was my joy in in the torah and that's the joy i felt and that's the joy that i will always rejoice in shabbat shalom